What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I figured we'd do a little bit of a get ready with me, kind of like a makeup transformation. I love doing these videos because they are my chance to just sit down, play with makeup, get ready and get all glam and go nowhere because honestly we're all in quarantine right now. But all seriousness, there is a lot going on right now. I spoke about it briefly in my vlog and I kind of just want to, I want this video to just be a good little distraction from everybody. I know the news is crazy and social media is crazy right now. So let's just do makeup and have fun together and get glam. Um, but yeah, I've kind of addressed everything in my vlog and just the seriousness of everything. I hope everyone is staying home. I don't want to get in too deep into it now because like I said, I want this video to be a distraction, but I hope everyone is staying home and isolating themselves and being safe. So when it comes to my quarantine, honestly, I have been doing totally fine because I am a homebody. A lot of you guys know this. Not My routine hasn't changed a whole lot, to be honest with you. I like barely leave my house because I'm such a homebody. I love doing things around the house. I enjoy the simple things in life. I enjoy going for walks, which isn't in the house, but I enjoy going for walks cooking, hanging out with my dog, watching Netflix, bubble baths, spa times at home. Like I just, I'm a homebody and I enjoy the simple things in life. So honestly, I haven't really been that bored and it's not a huge change to my routine, but I do miss my freedom. That's the one thing that's just kind of like, whew, I miss my freedom. I miss being able to like go to the gym, get my workouts in. I miss being able to see my family. I miss being able to get my nails done and go home decor shopping to HomeSense. I miss my freedom, but other than that, your girl's doing good. I just been feeling a little bit like a slob kebab because I haven't really done my makeup and gotten ready. So I'm like, I wanna get glam today and why not film it? So let me stop rambling. Here's what the hair we're working with. You guys know this is my natural hair. I have pretty wavy hair. This is literally just from me brushing it last night, putting heat protectant, a little bit of oil and letting it air dry and then sleeping. So I am feeling very uncreative with my hair today. Ow. I'm feeling very uncreative with my hair today. I was gonna do like just straight down, but then I'm like, oh, that's kind of like a little bit boring. And I'm doing like not statement makeup, but I'm kind of doing something a little bit different than I normally do. And then my shirt is gonna like look really pretty. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I do half up, half down? That way the makeup and like outfit can shine and my hair can be out of the way. So I'm thinking of doing like a half up, half down pony, but I want my hair to be volumized, but straight. So I don't know how I'm gonna get that to happen because I don't really have super thick hair. So I think I'm just gonna like barely straighten it, like pass the straightener through it really quickly so that I can maintain the volume, but have it be straight. So the first thing I think I'm gonna do is put it up, like do the actual hair in a ponytail. Now we're gonna straighten and I figured it'll be best if I straighten while it's in the ponytail so that I can make sure I don't over straighten my hair. I don't want it to be too flat. There we go. I wish I knew how to like gel down baby hairs and be all cute. Maybe I'll attempt. Ooh, should I attempt to do that later? Maybe I will. Okay, so I feel like that is straight enough because it still has volumes. The only thing I will do now is the ends. I'm going to take this and kind of curve them in a little bit. Just a little bit, like nothing crazy, but it's just going to give it some like swoop de boop de doop A little swoop de doop never hurt nobody. I've been in quarantine for way too long. <laughs> Honestly, even though I'm a homebody, I just miss like going to the gym, getting my nails done. Speaking of getting my nails done, they don't look so, so, I mean, they do look bad, let's be real, but like, they're not like horrible. I feel like I could, they're not like, I'm not dying. Next week, what I'll do is I'll probably have to cut them, file them, and then the week after that, I'll probably have to just remove the gel. Yeah, <laughs> that's just what's gonna have to happen. My hair is really growing. It is uneven, because I don't know if you guys remember that vlog that I did where I literally chopped my own layers and I did such a bad job. And in the vlog, I made a joke like, oh my God, wouldn't it be funny if like this is one of those times where I look back on and I totally regret it, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, did regret it. I ended up doing my layers so choppy and uneven that like now my hair is very uneven. And in order to make it look even, I would have to cut my hair pretty short. So yeah, I've just been letting it grow out so that my hairdresser can make it even again. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna put another hair tie in here just to make it super secure. And putting another hair tie also helps it um, stand up more so it doesn't like droop. Yeah, like do you see how now it's like standing up pretty firmly? This is definitely not that much effort and I feel like it could look better with some clip-ins, but I feel like it's a pretty cute, like messy little straight pony. So I'm working with it. I am gonna put some of this Matrix Texture Hair Builder or Texture Builder Messy Finish Spray. This just helps your hair build. Like Last thing I'll do is put some of this sparkling soda shine mist. I love and adore the way this smells. It smells like so good, best hair scent ugh, in the world. I can't even describe it. It's like a heavy vanilla. It's just so good. Okay, so I just washed my hands. So they're nice and clean so I can touch up on my face. And I think for primer, I'm just gonna use my go-to favorite. This is the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. So for today's face, I kind of want to do this like very matte look, but matte that has this little bit of like, I don't want to say opulence, it's probably like the wrong word, but like this little bit of just like that. You know? Before I put on my foundation, I found this in my um, new makeup section oh god the nails you guys we're gonna have to ignore it obviously i cannot go to the salon i might have to just file them down anyways um i found this in my new makeup section this is the dior universal that's the shade name this is the dior backstays face and body glow and it's just like a liquid highlighter and i tried it on the back of my hand and i was like "Ooh, this is really pretty so i'm excited to try it i think what i'm gonna do like a hair put some on my fingertips and just put that on the high points of my face and this is what i kind of meant by like i'm gonna do a matte makeup look but i'm gonna have this underneath that's just gonna like you know make it look like very natural soft matte with like this semi very slight little natural glow underneath it's just gonna look really pretty and then i'm gonna use the maybelline fit me matte and poreless this is like one of my favorite matte foundations i was debating between this and the wet and wild so i'm gonna use the shade 228 i hope i don't regret it because i normally use 310 but i just i've used 228 before and i liked it but we'll see how it goes with my tan today yeah i think that's gonna be good this is like one of the prettiest foundations ever. For concealer, I'm gonna use the new Hourglass Vanish Concealer. It's so good, you guys. I did finally get my correct shade. Um, I picked up Fawn. I was gonna get Oat, but I figured that might be a little too light. So I picked up the shade Fawn. Oh yeah, this is a perfect shade. Perfect. I had Beach before and it was too, like it kind of just matched my foundation. The great thing about this concealer is it looks so incredibly smooth on the skin. So one of my tricks when it comes to concealer and I always recommend is to not over blend. Don't over blend your concealer until it just all melts away. I mean, it's never gonna all melt away, but you'll get more coverage and more of a glam look out of it if you don't fully blend it. You definitely always wanna fully blend the edges, but right underneath the under eye, like don't over blend it. So I am gonna use my favorite. This is the Huda Beauty Baking Powder and this is in the shade Pound Cake. I kind of forgot to take a piece of hair and wrap it around the hair tie. And now I'm too lazy to do it. So it's too bad, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so now that that has baked for a little bit, I am going to brush it off. 
So I kind of just feel like starting with nose contour for some reason. I'm just like in the mood. This is the Sigma Dual Fiber E41. Here we go. I'm gonna use the Benefit Hula. And I'm gonna start from all the way up here. I'm gonna just do this lightly, nothing too dramatic. Yeah, I feel like that looks good. And just, what I love about Duo Fibers is they really, they're like magical blenders. Like they just do the job for you. So I know we got powder on the under eye, but this is one of my favorite things to do. Take, I'm actually gonna take my beauty blender. Um, take the KKW Beauty number three brightening powder and just a little bit underneath there. See how it just gives it a little boost, a little kick. So and now to contour, I'm gonna use my favorite Huda Beauty light uh, tantor in the shade light. This is my absolute fave. So I'm gonna contour the jawline and I always make sure to get like right here because I tend to have like a pretty square jawline, I guess you could say, which I actually like, but I just want to define it. I think also get rid of that little double chin fat. Like, you know, we never, we never like, let's just be real. We don't want that. Also, please ignore like my hairy sideburns. I need to do an at-home facial and like derma planning and shave my face and everything. I'm actually going to do it soon and I was thinking of just vlogging it so you guys could like do an at-home facial with me. Also, that kind of brings me to my next question. Let me know in the comments down below, right in the comments, what have you guys been doing to keep yourself busy during the, this quarantine? I've just been really busy like with hella Netflix and hella bubble baths and Netflix in the bubble bath. Taking that same brush I used for the nose, This can look intimidating, but it is the best. Like it changed my life. So now I'm gonna rub off the excess. I have a little makeup towel right below me. Rub off the excess and um, blend it with that same brush. You do wanna rub off the excess or else you'll put too much product on. See how that just like gave me this pouty look and then when I go to put on my lip liner later, it'll just be a whole combo. I have tried to like contour my upper lip, but I find that it kind of looks like mustachy and just like a little too muddy, so I don't really do that. Um, honestly, I have thought long and hard, you guys, about getting lip fillers. You know, I've talked about this, and I feel like I have actually mentioned this for years. I've been wanting lip fillers for years, and I think I'm finally gonna get some, mainly for my top. Like, I like my bottom lip, Mainly for my top. It'd be nice to have a little bit of a bigger top lip. So I think I'm honestly gonna get lip fillers. Maybe when all this is over, I think I'm gonna book a consultation. And I was thinking of vlogging it as well. Um, but anyways, so now that the bron the cream bronzer is done, I'm going to top it off with some powder bronzer. This is the Milani um, Sole Baked Bronzer. And I'm just setting that contour. You guys know I like to drag the bronzer down my neck a little, just a little bit. I've actually really been loving this blush. This is the new Benefit blush that they came out with called Georgia. I was hoping that it would be more pigmented. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like it's quite a soft shade where it's very natural. Like you're not gonna get this intense, like blushed look out of it, but I kind of like that about it. Like you guys will see what I mean. Like I'm taking a lot of product and you see how it's just very like, there's not that much color coming out, but again, I kind of like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my camera battery is at like 67% and I got a new camera so I don't have like a backup battery for this new camera. I'm using one battery which sucks. Normally I have like two to three so I just switch them out. Um, so I figured while I do my brows, I'm gonna let this battery charge. Okay, so now it is time to do the eyes. I finished up my brows. I didn't even end up using the um, brow powder. This is my favorite brow gel. It just holds your brows in place, especially if you just want them to like look fluffy and just be in place. The best brow gel ever. I cannot use anything else. So now I'm gonna do the eyes. I wanna do a really pretty bronzy olive -y look. So for today I'm gonna use the um, 
Anastasia Mario palette. I know they don't sell this anymore, but I know a lot of you guys have this. Okay, so ideally I would use like a card, a business card or something, but I don't have anything right now. So I just took my lash box and ripped the little thing and I'm gonna use that. First thing I am gonna do is use this gorgeous warm shade, but I'm gonna mix it in with this. And I'm gonna use this as like a little straight line just to, not that I need it to be perfect, but it's just to guide me. There you go, just gives me a nice little guide on um, getting that little cat eye. So now I'm gonna take my Makeup Geek palette here and I'm gonna take this shade. I'm actually gonna use this shade right here and I'm just going to create a little bit of a wing. I'm kind of mapping it out right now, but I know I'm gonna have to go over it afterwards. So I really want to do a pretty like bronzy, olivey type of tone shade. So I found this, this Desi and Katie's um, collaboration that they did with Dose of Colors. And I know they don't sell this anymore, but again, a lot of you have it. If you are looking for an alternative, I already found a pretty close alternative, which is Anastasia Beverly Hills's single eyeshadow in truffle glitter. It's literally very similar. It applies best with the finger. And I'm just going to put that on the center. I love taking the shadow and tilting my head and kind of bringing it almost in the crease a little bit in the inner portion because it just like wherever the light hits, it kind of sparkles. You see that? As opposed to just putting it on the lid part. I like to kind of bring it up. It also opens up the eyes. You could definitely just do the liner at the end. I mean, that's probably what I should have done, but I just, I like doing it like this and just go over it. It's pretty easy to go over. Now, if you have this palette, you could totally use this shade for what I'm about to do next, but I am obsessed with these Natasha Denona um chroma what are they called chroma crystal top coats i this is like a product that they hold a place in my heart i love them so much so this specific one is called um bronze and it's just a gorgeous bronze shade i typically use this one more which this shade is more of a champagne one this one over here it's called nude it's more of a champagne so i do use this one more so i'm gonna take it on my little pinky and then what I'm gonna do is go into the shade Nude, and I'm gonna take this dome brush because it's quite dense, so it'll pack it on nicely, the E34. And I'm gonna just take that and put that really on the inner portion. These shadows do apply best with the finger, but it can be kind of hard to get your finger in there if you have longer nails. <laughs> Work on the under eyes a little bit, and I'm using these two shades again. And I'm gonna take that same deeper brown and just slightly blend it on the outer corner. So my favorite for the inner corner, I'm gonna take the Fenty Diamond, um, Diamond Bomb, how many carrots? And then blend it up. So for mascara, I'm going to use a combination of both of these, the Maybelline Lash Sensational and then the L'Oreal Voluminous. Both of them are in the black-brown option. I don't use black mascara anymore. I haven't for years now. Like I would say like two, three, I would say two years now. So there's my little mascara combo. If you guys don't like wearing falsies and you want a good mascara combo and technique on your own without falsies, there it is. But I'm going to go ahead and add, I'm going to try these for the first time. These are the Kiss lashes in the style beehive so i'm hoping they're good we'll see okay so the lashes are on and i love them they're so nice because they still have a thin um invisible kind of band i no longer use lashes that have like really thick bands i use the ones that just have very thin like almost no band at all um and these have like a very thin band but they have a little bit more volume than my natural lashes, so I love that. So my vision for the lips is very super, super flesh tone nude with just an outlined lip and some gloss. So I am gonna use the MAC Cork Lip Liner. This lip liner is so nice. So 
So now what I'm going to do is use the MAC lipstick in the shade Leave Me Breathless. It is a very pale flesh tone nude, but I'm obsessed with it. You guys will see how light it is, but I'll blend everything and make it work. As you can see, very light. What you could do is just use the lip liner to blend it, but what I'm gonna do is take now the shade Naturally Transformed from MAC. This one is very, as um, kind of matches my tan. Like it's a very just flesh tone nude. It's not as light as um, Leave Me Breathless, and I'm just gonna put this on the outer. Mix those two together. Honestly, I'm just gonna mix it should have put the naturally transformed first and then the leave me breathless in the center, but it's okay. What I'm gonna do now, take my finger. And now I will just go over the lip line. And there we go. Last thing I'm gonna do is add some gloss. I'm gonna take the Patrick Ta. Um, she's expensive, I believe this is called. Yeah, she's expensive lip shine. Ooh, this gloss is everything. Now what I will do is use the uh, Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. So I'm a huge fan of this one. And then I figured I'm gonna try the mattifying one because I haven't tried this one yet. And the girl at Sephora, the employee, said that she has really oily skin and this made her makeup just like stay matte all day. So I was like, okay, you got me. So I'm gonna try this out. What I will do is take this shade right here and just pat, 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 pat. And then I kind of like mine like that. I know um, you could fill it in more and really make it look fully full, but I kind of just like the natural look of it being like that. So the hair is pretty much done. I'm just going to do the last little touches. Okay, my face is like super matte after this and I'm loving it. So if you guys have oily skin, then you'll really like this. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and get dressed real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and got changed and we are all ready to go nowhere. I mean, go in the damn living room and take some pictures. <laughs> So outfit is fully from um, Princess Polly, the oversized tee as well as the layered necklaces. I will link it down below as well as my coupon code. They did give me a code for 20% off and I believe it expires soon, like really soon. I'm gonna leave the date and all the info down below but I think it expires in like a few days. Just to give you guys a little look at the full t-shirt, I love it. I have mine tucked into some biker shorts and I just rolled up the sleeves. Paired it with um, this layered necklace and I just, I love it, it's so cute. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy watching me get glam, do my hair, play with makeup, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.